Tell God, thank you. Let us pray, Father. Awesome God. It's me, Lord, chosen only by you to stand before these, your people, teach your word and <clears throat> preach the gospel of Jesus Christ. I ask you now, Lord, to remove me out of the natural. <coughs> Allow me to enter to your spirit realm. Yes. Intertwine your Holy Spirit with my spirit that your Holy Spirit will come and keep me reminded of what thus saith the Lord. In Jesus' precious and holy name, I do pray. Let every heart say, Amen. Amen. Anybody know Jesus? Amen. You ought to act like you know him then. Amen. That's somebody to be glad to know. Amen. Amen. Yeah, yeah. If I didn't know Jesus, I wonder what in the world. My God. What in the world? Amen. Let us go to the word. Holy Ghost still put some stuff together. But that's all right because when he get through it will be what? Done. Or finished. Over. Complete. Amen. Amen. Praise God. Uh, the word come. Tonight, by way of the book of Ephesians, for the perfecting of the saints, for the work of the ministry, for the edifying of the body of Christ. That sounds like a job we all party. Amen. Amen. And, 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 and if you want to say this, all right, because see, I'm one of those preachers that will read a little bit, and then I'm going to expound. So if I see you sit down, I'm not going to pray on you. <laughs> Amen. Praise the Lord. And, 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 and remember, everything we do should be for the Lord. Amen. Especially well. In the church. Especially in the church. It's bad when it's bad when folk come from the street and they're trying to get away from the foolishness. They're trying to get away from the mental anguish. They're trying to get away from upsetting things. They're trying to get away from stuff they just don't understand. So they run to the church. Just to find out that it's worse in the church. Oh, glory. Help me, Lord. Help me, Lord. Than it is on the street. In the world. We're supposed to Convert the world, but the world is converting the church. Somebody shout glory. Now, 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 verse 13 says, till we all come in the unity of the faith and of the knowledge of the Son of God unto a perfect man unto the measure of the stature of the fullness of of Christ. Go back to that what perfect man. See people believe. People believe that you can't be perfect. 
on earth. Let me tell what make tell you what makes you perfect in God's eyesight. When you fall, you get back up, you repent, you go to him, and you try to move forward. You don't keep falling for the sake of, oh, somebody talk to me. You don't keep falling for the same thing. You don't keep going down for the same thing. But when you do, first thing you do is what? Go to God. You ain't got to go to nobody else. Oh, man, I done messed up. That's, you sure did when you told him. <laughs> Amen. Amen. Soon as you told him, you messed up. Take it to the Lord in prayer. Amen. I'm going somewhere with this. I know I'm kind of unorthodox, but y'all keep, y'all hang with me. Y'all get there too. Amen. Everything is for the edifying of the body. Okay. Let's take that out of the spiritual context and let's talk about our bodies. Everything that we put in our body should be for our, for the goodness of us growing, for the, the nurturing we need. Come on, somebody, the proteins and everything that we need. Did you know God put everything on this earth for us? Amen. I know the government are trying to take it and, 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 and buy up a bunch of land or take it and put a fence around it and put a sign on it and say, property, uh, um, our trespassers will be prosecuted. That's because all the things that God put on this earth for us to be healed by. Come on, somebody. Oh, to get rid of that high blood pressure, to seeing diabetes running down the road, it's in that fence. But they know if they get control of what's in the fence, they're going to make money because, you know, they have the money. But I want you to know today that for the love of money is the root of all evil. That's why they won't give us the cure. Oh, I keep forgetting I got to stand here. That's why they won't give us the cure. That's why they keep making synthetics pills. Oh, somebody, I ain't going there. I'm going to leave that alone now. I'm going to leave that alone because, but the knowledge, we got to come in the, the unity of the faith and of the knowledge of the Son of God. Amen. Unto a perfect man, unto the measure of the stature or the fullness of Christ that we henceforth be no more children. Uh-huh, uh-huh, uh-huh. See, you can't always be acting like no child. And 98 years old, still acting like a child. Amen. Come on, I'm going somewhere with this, y'all. That we henceforth be no more children tossed to and fro and carried about with every wind of doctrine. We can't believe everything we hear. We cannot believe everything we hear. Because everything ain't true. You got some stuff that's been alterated. Amen. You got some stuff that, 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 that will have you following behind the wrong thing. I'm going to keep it simple. I'm going to keep it simple. But, and, and then he says, by the slate of men and cunning craftiness. Wait a minute. What kind of craftiness? Cutting. What else you know to be cutting? A snake. Mm -hmm. How many of y'all like? It? If you do, I ain't coming to your house. So the miracles ain't not me. Hey, you ain't got to worry about me coming to your house if you got one. Hey, Amen. I, I ain't gonna play with the enemy. See, that's that's what's going on. Not a lot of folk playing with the enemy. And they can't, they can't figure out what's happening. I tell you what's happening. You're playing with the enemy. Amen. Let me move on. Whereby they lie in wait to deceive. I'm reminded of a little joke. I got to get it in. It's all right if I get it in. That was a monkey. 
standing on the banks of the river. And from where he was standing, he could see a banana tree. The biggest, prettiest, golden bananas I reckon the monkey had ever seen. That monkey was over there on the banks of the river pacing back and forth trying to figure out how he was going to get to those bananas. Well, on the other side of the river where the, where the bananas were, there was a snake. He over there looking at the monkey pacing back and forth and, 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 and gazing, as my mama used to say, at those bananas. The snake got in the water and swam across to the monkey and said, um, jump on on my back and I'll take you over there. I see you looking at no banana. That monkey said, man, is you crazy? If I jump on my back, he said, no. He said, I know you want to get no banana. Come on, jump on my back. I'll take you over there. The monkey jumped on his back. Halfway across the lake, snake reached back and struck the monkey. Monkey said, oh, Lord, man, I thought you said you wouldn't go back. And he said, well, you knew I was a snake. See, that's that cunning craftiness right there. With God. And we got folk today that'll bait you up to come on over to the house. And all the time, they got in their mind to deceive. To deceive you. You can't believe everything you hear. And don't trust everything you see. some vow time. Some wows. Amen. Of the enemy. We be trying to figure out, but man, how I got caught up in this. You're not paying attention to the Holy Ghost. The Holy Ghost talking to you. The Holy Ghost warning you. And you're not listening because the Holy Ghost ain't saying, hey man, come back, come back. Holy Ghost don't do that. He talked to you smooth and soft. He said, Don't go over there. Didn't God tell y'all not to eat of that fruit? <laughs> listen, listen, listen. I, I, I got a little bit more to get. Let me get it. Let me get it. That we henceforth be no more children talk. Okay, I got that. But speaking. Mm-mm-mm. The truth in love may grow up into him in all things. In what? All things. Which is the head, even Christ. We got to be sincere. I mean, I'm up here cutting a couple of jokes, but I am very sincere about God's word. I may cut a joke over him, but I bet you I jump back over him on God's word. Because I'm a sincere about you knowing the truth about our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. About the most high, powerful, mighty God that sits on high. You know, Daniel said, we are true saints of the most high God. And if we know that, we ought to believe that and we ought to act like it. We ought to be sincere. Oh, somebody shout glory. Hmm. Watch this. Verse 16. From whom the whole body fitly joined together fitly, I'm sorry, joined together and compacted by that which every joint supplies. Think about when your joints go to hurt. <laughs> According to the effectual working in the measure of every part, make his increase of the body unto the edifying of itself in love. Now, I'm going to jump off on a trampoline right quick. You don't love yourself. How can you love somebody else? Right. Be careful about somebody always talking about they love you, but watch their antics. Watch their appearance. Watch where they hang out at. 
you trying to, you know, you got a certain standard, and these jokers want to hang on the corner. You ain't with that because you living for the Lord. So, in other words, you ain't got no business getting tied up with that. See, I'm a living witness. I ain't just talking. Uh -huh. I'm talking, but I'm sincere about this word. And I'm just letting you know. Let me move on. I got to get to where I got to get. Y'all going with me? Uh -huh. Somebody shout glory. glory. This I say, therefore, and testify in the Lord that ye henceforth walk not as other Gentiles walk. Because right. you come from on the corner, you ain't got to walk like you on the corner. All right. uh, from on the corner. All right, Amen. Amen. In the vanity of their man. You know, vain vanity is nothing but what? Nothing. It's absolutely nothing. You keep living in the vain vanities. Go over there and talk to old man Solomon over there in the Ecclesiastes. He'll tell you about them vain vanities. Amen. Amen. Don't mount up to nothing. But you wouldn't believe how many people are caught up in those vain vanities. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Uh, you can't buy me no fur coat. You might well go on all that. Fur coat ain't going to get you into heaven. Yeah. What's wrong with I'm like Chris Tucker now. What's wrong with you? <laughs> Amen. Amen. Verse 18. Verse 18. Having the understanding darkened. Mm. being alienated from the life of God through the ignorance that is in them because of the blindness of their heart. Wait a minute. One word out of all this being said really sticks out to me. That word is ignorance. In order to be ignorant, you have to be ignoring. So, uh-oh. If you're ignoring all the warnings that the Holy Ghost giving you, all the words of God that he had placed in this book, uh, all the things that Jesus did to save you from sin, then now I need to know what's wrong with you. Uh, something is truly wrong, Doc. Something is truly wrong. Being alienated from the life of God through the ignorance that is in them because of the blindness of their heart have given themselves over unto lasciviousness. Uh oh. Yeah. To work all uncleanliness with greediness. Oh, all the uncleanliness that you're working, yeah. you don't stop. You can't stop. Because you're greedy. All right. All right. There's some things some of us do, but we can't we can't figure out why we keep going back to do it. That's, that's for lascivious. Uh-huh. We keep going back. But let me tell you, the only thing you ought to be going back to is the most high God. Amen. Because everything else is going to fail. Because when it's all over said and done, that's the last one you're going to be standing before. And he's going to be the one that gives you your eternal hope. Mm, let me move just a little bit further. Verse 20 says, but ye have not so learned Christ. As easy as it is to know Christ. You still haven't learned Christ because you're not putting on what? The ways of Christ. All right. All right. Amen. You're reading about him, but you're going back to that same old soup with the spot in it. Right. Right. Yeah. Hmm. That ye have heard him and have been taught by him as the truth is in Jesus. Watch this right here. Amen. That ye put off concerning the former conversation. 
the old man, which is corrupt according to the deceitful lusts and be renewed in the spirit of your man. And that ye put on the new man which after God is created in righteousness and true holiness. Wherefore, put it away in line. Speak every man truth with his neighbor. For we are members one of another. Be ye angry and sin not. <laughs> That's a hard one for some of us. <clears throat> Let not the sun go down upon your wrath. Neither give place to the devil. Y'all got all that? Well, may God add a blessing to the, hear the readers, the hearers, the doers, the followers, and most of all, the obeyers. Oh, here's my word. Come on, give God a. a woo. Promise you, I won't be long now. In that the Holy Ghost gave me this, I'm going to give it to you as he gave it to me. My topic today, I hope you can hear me, uh, Pastor Courtney. My topic today is the man of the hour. Amen. The man Amen. of the hour. <laughs> I, I ain't talking about no enemy, man. I'm talking about y'all's pastor. Amen. He is the man. Of the hour. Because he carries a heavy load. He's the man of the hour. Because he's always praying for you. He's the man of the hour. Because he's always praying. He's the man of the hour. Because God chose him. He's the man of the hour. Because God sent him. In right direction, he's the man of the hour. Somebody ought to shout glory. I can imagine they get sometimes, but you keep coming back for more because you're the man of the hour. The reason you keep coming back for more because you're qualified, certified, bona fide 